You didn't hear a devil emoji. And you, kiss face. Hello, my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is a one month update on the iSub G. Hey guys, so I'm doing a one month update for the iSub G. I've been using it for a month and let me just cut this video short and say that it's the best. <laughs> I love it. In my opinion, for me personally, the iSub G has performed the best out of all the sub tanks that I have tried for a while now. I love the flavor, I love the hit, I love the screen guard and the coils. That way there is no spit back. I've had absolutely no spit back. I've had very, very minor leaking. The only way it really leaks is if it gets too hot, like if I accidentally leave it in the car or in the sunlight, that's when it has like just a tiny little bit of leaking out the mouth hole, but nothing drastic, nothing major. I love the quick coil change out feature. That is so easy and literally, where is it? I literally just changed the coil today for this video, so the coil lasted a month, and I, I think it could even last a little bit longer, the coil, but I was just starting to feel like it wasn't clean tasting anymore, like I, I've run so many freaking <laughs> tank fulls of e-liquid through this and as far as dropping it uh, admittedly I have not dropped this I've been so careful with this setup this cool fire 4 in gold and the iSub glass has been my go-to setup for a few weeks now I've been vaping on just like pretty much this thing at home on the go I love it I love the gold and I love the vape from the iSub G so much that I don't like besides things besides the things that are in my vape rotation this is what I'm using almost all the time Oh, such a good flavor. Right now I'm running at 25 watts. I never really go above 30, especially with the iSub G coils. Uh, I just prefer it that way. I feel like they get a little too warm anywhere past 30. I've had all types of, hello, focus. <laughs> I've had all types of e-liquid in here. Cinnamon, fruit, citrus, nothing like because it's glass so it's obviously it's going to be fine with any type of e-liquid i just thought i'd reiterate that um oh and before i totally forgot i totally forgot where i was going with that i have not dropped this like at any like i haven't dropped it and been like <gasps> you know like maybe it's fallen over like while it's sitting up like falling over on the table but i haven't actually dropped it to where i'm like oh shit it's gonna break so i can't say like exactly how the glass would hold up there but that's why i have this band so I, if I do drop it, it has a little bit of protection, you know, and I'll link below where you can get these bands for your tanks too, if you're interested in getting them for your glass tanks. I have them all around my glass tanks just for protection. Oh, this flavor is so good. Let me tell you, this is, I'm actually using this unicorn bottle right now. I'm obsessed with these unicorn bottles right now because they're so thin and long that they can fit just like in the bottom of my purse really well versus trying to bring like a 30 milliliter glass bottle around with you in your bag clinking around. So I've been obsessed with using these but the actual flavor is this Chichora flavor by Cape Fear Juice Company. They sent me this bottle and it is amazing. It's literally in my top three flavors of all time and it's so delicious. It's horchata and I've never even had horchata in real life. I've only had rum chata, which is an alcoholic version of it and a vape version of it, but I love it. I literally like everything about this tank. I think the only thing that I don't like about this tank is that the first version of it came in colors and then this one didn't, which is, eh, that sucks, but it works phenomenally. But I want to hear from you guys if you have the iSub G or if you've tried the iSub G. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below what your experience is because, you know, my experience can be completely different from somebody else's and it helps the viewers who are watching this video who might purchase this to, you know, really decide because I'm just one opinion. But I think this is the first tank in a long time that I have been completely satisfied with. So I'm obsessed with it, like I've just been using this and refilling this. Because I'm not a chain vapor and I, other, I also have other devices in my vape rotation that I have to vape on to get a one month update for them. But like I said, this is what I'm vaping most of the time, almost 97.9% 90, of the time I'm using this exact setup 
and this e-liquid well before it was the milk plus but now I have some more chichora so I'm really enjoying that and saving the rest of the milk plus I have and then enjoying this you know flavor ADD I like to jump around through flavors and people always ask me what's the best way to clean these and you know they all disassemble so you can clean them with water hot water I've never cleaned mine with soap I've always used just hot water or like um, alcohol but when I'm changing a flavor like I'll literally vape it down until it's like the last little bit but there's still some e-liquid in it and I'll just fill it full of with another flavor and the flavors are mixed for a little bit but then eventually it's predominantly just the other flavor so I don't like ever switch out the coils just because I'm switching flavors and I do mix the end of flavors with other flavors and I don't I vape that way and I don't mind it at all I actually find that if you mix flavors together you can get like an incredible flavor so I really like mixing different um, strawberry and cream vapes that I have together to get like the ultimate strawberry and cream vape but this definitely gets 10 out of 10 stars from me two thumbs way way up I'm going to continue to use it after this video and I'm going to use it until it breaks or if they come out with like an upgraded version that comes in pink then I'm going to get the pink one but I love this tank and I plan on using it and I would buy it over and over again and I would recommend this and to anyone who's like stepping into the sub ohm world but that's it for today's video just a quick update for you guys on the awesome i sub g I will link below to where you can get this whole setup if you're interested or the e-liquid that's in here that's chichora horchata it's so good you have to try it if you like horchata I trust me hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews you can also check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like instagram or twitter at tia vapes i also have a facebook page facebook.com slash tia reviews if you don't get enough of me here i do have a second vlog channel here on youtube where i like to upload completely random videos of whatever i feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not necessarily vaping related you can check out that channel and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching guys This flavor is so fucking bomb. It makes me want rum chata now, but you know, you can't drink that. You can have like a drink of it because it's so sweet. It's like hangover land and you just know it.